Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am from thefarmgirlgabs.com and today I'm going to share with you my recap of my trip to New York City yesterday. I was invited to attend the Disney social media celebration on the road event. Um, so I thought I would share with you everything that I learned and a little bit about what the event exactly is. So, here we go. Social media celebration um, in the past has been um, it was twofold there was on the road events and then there was a big event each year held at either uh, Walt Disney World uh, a land and sea event held at Walt Disney World and on the Disney Cruise Line or in the past it also has been held at Disneyland as well the um, it was formerly called the Disney Social Media Mom Celebration, but they took the moms out of the equation, which is totally understandable because number one, not everybody's a mom, and number two, a lot of dads or or guys are invited to these events as well. So they just call it now the Disney Social Media Celebration. This was the on on the road event, and it was held in New York City. Um, I was honored to have been invited. I have been invited in the past and I have actually attended four of the main celebrations, um, the Disney Social Media Mom celebrations as well. Um, I attended two in Walt Disney World and then the other two were a combination Walt Disney World slash Disney Cruise excursion. So it was a really amazing event. Um, I had a wonderful time at all of them. So anytime I get that little pixie dust invitation in the mail, I will move mountains to be there because as you know, I love Disney. Um, I love writing about Walt Disney World. It just has a really special place in my heart. And I feel what a better way to learn than from the best in the business. So that's what this event was about yesterday. It was basically a mini conference. It was a half a day conference held at the Kipton in New York City. Um, it kicked off around 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, and we basically learned from the Disney Parks team all their little secrets about um, video creation, about content creation, and how we can be the best influencers and content creators we can be. Good morning. It is Wednesday, May 8th at a bright and early 5.30 in the morning. I am actually headed to New York City this morning for the Disney social media celebration. Um, I received an invitation a few weeks ago, so I thought I would bring you guys along with me so we can find out about all the happenings through the Disney parks. So let's go, let's hit the road. Disney social media 
are going to start with a Walt Disney World and Disneyland tradition of pin trading. So Mallory and Sarah are gonna come around. Everyone gets one pin per person. your audience just through your niche, through your amazing storytelling experiences. And of course, the Disney Parks blog is uh, our main source of storytelling. So I have a great quote that really impacts the last three um, programs that I mentioned. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing, and that's how. So consistent publishing is one of the keys that we use to continue our audience building. And then exclusive content. I know we're blessed at Disney because we have a plethora of content, but for you, think about what do you have that you can give to your audiences that's exclusive that you're writing about. And keep your eyes open. Great content can be right in front of you, and it's, it's something you may not have been looking for in the first place, but it's landed magically in your lap. Right? Um, we also want to diversify our traffic sources. Is there anyone here who's just mostly Instagram? Okay, a few of you. You may have had a heart attack then when Instagram went down a while back, right? I think in an ideal world, at least for me, my traffic would be split 25% social, 25% direct, 25% organic, and 25% email. Don't you guys think that that would be an ideal world, right? Again, email. Uh, more than 100 million hours of video are watched on Facebook each day. Uh, by 2021, 17,000 hours of video content will cross IP addresses. I mean, that's amazing. 85% of the US internet audience watches video online. People want video. You keep hearing video is king, video is king. At a start, it used to be the slow build-up stories that I showed before. Um, I'm gonna show you a story in a moment where the whole thing is rethought and you've really gotta have that most dynamic image right off the top. You've gotta capture attention right away. The story arc, it goes back to that. Starting in the middle or the high end of the story and going from there to get the attention. Framing, uh, they're saying tighter shots are better because of mobile, higher color contrast, again, mobile, bigger font, familiar faces. Um, if you're having brands, you've got to organically place them right up front, right? So those of you that are working with brands like Disney, uh, <laughs> we want to, uh, to get the Disney uh, branding up front as, as much as possible and make it authentic, okay? Don't make it look like an add-on. Focus on one message. Again, this goes to their six second videos. I I'm working with the 15 second videos right now, but they like the six seconds. And one shot can work, and I'll show you an example in this moment. Reach new audience, produce for your audience, faster pacing, framing, close-ups again and then clearly give a call to action. Where can they go for more information? Where do they sign up? Where do you want them to go? So clear, uh, clear call to action. Today, so if you want to be in the know about everything that is coming, we have talked about it a little bit today, but make sure that you continue to follow Disney Parks blog. media celebration is a wrap. I had a wonderful time here in New York City. I learned a lot about Disney parks 
And I also learned a lot about ways to improve as a content creator. And of course, the event ended with a wonderful photo op with Mickey and Minnie. And they were in their, um, Mickey and Minnie were both in their birthday celebration suits. Um, if you've been to the parks, you know that um, they wear these really pretty white confetti outfits. Um, that that we got to um, get our pictures taken. Actually, it was a really, really cool view. We got to go up on the rooftop deck and um, we had this beautiful sweeping um, view of the, of the New York City skyline and um, we got our pictures taken with Mickey and Minnie. So, and of course there was some swag. So when we walked in, um, everybody had this cute little, it's my birthday hat. Here, I'll even put it on for you. Ooh, there you go, can't really see it, but yeah. So we all got one of these. Um, they gave us these adorable notebooks and I am a notebook person, I love notebooks. So um, yeah, cute little notebook. I actually took some notes in there. I took a bunch of notes in there. Um, and then we got these adorable um, earrings. Um, everybody got a pair from the Rebecca Hook. They are available at the Disney Store in New York City, but aren't they adorable? They're little minis. I don't know if you could see them. It's not gonna focus good, but yeah, they're little minis. Um, and they gave everybody um, one of them. There was about 90 influencers there, and it was an invitation-only event, so I was very honored to have been invited. Um, and of course, uh, we got a swag bag, which how cute is this? It's a little knapsack. I've actually seen these in the park, but yes, it's a cute little Disney knapsack, which is very, very handy. I will definitely be using this. And inside of it is a little plush Mickey in his little birthday suit. Hey there. Um, what else? A tumbler. can always use these. It just says Disney, well, Disney World on it, but I will be filling that up too with my water. Um, this is a portable charger, which we all need because you know our cell phones don't last forever. I never leave home without one. It just says Disney Parks on it. <clears throat> and what else? Let's see. Oh, this is this is called Manifestation. This is an Adventures by Disney journal. So I guess you can call it a travel journal, but cute. Anyway, so I will definitely be using this. Um, so that's my quick recap of the event. Um, you can follow along on my blog, which is thefarmgirlgabs.com. I share a lot of great recipes. I share a ton of Disney information. Um, if you're planning a trip, um, definitely check it out because I have a lot of trip planning posts as well. Um, and if you um, have any comments, please leave a comment below and um, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified of when I post new videos here on my site. You can also click that bell so you can get instant notifications of when new videos are posted as well. Until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.